What up YouTube? So today we got a new part series um, K20Z1 versus K20A2 um, I want to go over a lot of different subjects on how to swap them, uh, how to make them legal, uh, performance parts and everything so this is just going to be part one of this series. Uh, over this weekend we'll be probably having all three of them uh, so you guys can fully understand the differences between both of them since these are pretty much the most common swaps that you'll find as far as performance wise out of the Acura RSX Type S. So let's start with the K20A2. Um, pretty much came out with 200 horsepower, 6 speed, uh, non LSD. Uh, pretty much on these motor swaps are the most common because all the aftermarket stuff was literally made for like the A2, A3 because this is what started off K series pretty much. So uh, this is the easier swap to do. They came in 02 to 04 Acura RSX Type S's. So pretty much uh, when you're swapping one of these in, it's real simple. You just need some motor mounts. These we're using Hasport. Uh, there's so many different other mounts you can use besides if you're on a budget. They don't really make that much of a difference. They're all pretty much made of the same material. Hasport is just like the number one top brand. So I mean... Uh, they do have dual stage and they're I guess a little bit better quality uh, overall but like me I mean I'm just more like just wanting to get this motor swapped in like most of us are so you got to start with your mounts obviously um, let's start with actually the tranny gear ratio and everything so the engine horsepower is 200 horsepower the gear ratio on this one though is about a 4.4 final drive uh, which is not as quick as the Z1, but it is pretty good for like low boost. It doesn't spin too fast, but obviously if you want to go top boost, go five speed transmission. Um, as far as trying to drop this in, uh, power steering will hit. So they do have a relocator for that. Um, they have uh, pretty much this is all stock so I'm running a stock exhaust manifold now some people were asking me how do you get this to fit uh, one reason why I did use the Hasport mounts is because uh, you they had, do have the dual and what you can have to do is I don't know if you can see it but you can only use one bolt which some aftermarket mounts use um, Hasport uses two of them so that gives me the advantage of using the bottom bolt to go to the top of the transmission um, as far as uh, tilting the engine so uh, I'll go into a little bit more detail as far as the next video on how to actually uh, do it barred uh, it'll be trying to go from illegal to legal in case someone did, does get hit up by the state referee but uh, yeah um, anyway so we got 200 horsepower 4-4 final drive um, everything on here is like K tune minimum parts since this is a, a California state bar legal swap so um, in comparison to the Z1 it's pretty easy uh, swapping this one you just need a conversion harness uh, you can use hybrid racing K tuned um, the axles are just base RSX axles um, not the type S the type S's are 36 millimeter these are 32 millimeter um, Hoses, you can use the stock hoses and slightly trim them, or you can just get K-Tune hoses as well. Um, as far as shifter box and everything, you can use stock one if you just drill on top, or in case this one actually does have a, a bolt-in shifter from Hybrid. So you can get this style. Um, you can also get K-Tuned, which this car actually has. Um, this one's just covered, though. I like the hybrid racing over the K tune. That's just my opinion. I think hybrid is a little bit more uh, better quality. Um, as far as fuel system, now this car actually is running the stock RSX uh, fuel pump, so it does not need a fuel regulator externally. The actual uh, fuel regulator is inside of the gas tank, comparing to this one when we get to that swap. But uh, like I said, K20A2 is very easy swap. Everything's pretty much bolt-in um, if you wanted it to. Uh, this one just has an aftermarket intake. The stock airbox doesn't really fit too good. You could fit maybe um, 
the Z3 box or whatever into this one, but in comparison to the A2, you really just need a couple grounds, um, the axles, uh, you can run intake or not. If you're not going to be running power steering, you don't need to run the power steering kit. You can just run this EP3 pulley kit, which is uh, aftermarket. You can run a stock one as well from the 02 to 11 Civic SI. Um, as far as throttle body, this is just a stock RSX type S throttle body. You can use hybrid racing. Uh, just make sure you get the actual bracket with it. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good swap. To drop right in um, most people find this one but when it comes down to the Z1 it's a little bit different these do have a little bit more horsepower so let's start with that these actually have 210 horsepower and that's because they come with the type R cam uh, the gear ratio is um, a 47 so it's a lot quicker this transmission gears actually go through a lot faster comparing to like uh, I would say that's like a GSR from B series and this would be like a B16 style uh, So definitely quicker ratio neither one of them come with LSD the only American uh, Motor is the Civic SI 2006 to 2011 which actually comes with the stock type R um, LSD so now when you're swapping this one, it's pretty much the same thing. As you can see, this one is not running power steering, so we're not running that, just running the stock EP3 pulley kit. Uh, same thing with the hoses. This one's pretty much all K-tuned out. This was done years ago in like 2017, so um, all these parts were just brand new coming out when they came, so he wanted to go all K-series on there. But as far as that, so you got 200 horsepower over here. You got 210 horsepower, you got a 4.4 final drive, and then a 4.7. Now what gets different is the actual harnesses. So 02 to 04 is all bolt-on and everything. They just kind of started making the conversion harnesses for these. Like Wireworks started, they're probably one of the first ones um, that actually uh, makes it. But if you watch some of my videos, I've actually showed you guys how to run an 02 to 04 conversion harness on the 0506 uh, but that only works if you're running the 0506 ECU with the 0506 harness so you can't swap back unless you're gonna run a jumper harness or anything I know that might seem confusing but most people when they're running a K20 Z1 they usually just go back to the 02 to 04 harness run the 02 to 04 ECU and everything and convert all back but it is possible to actually run the 05, 06. You can check out my videos. You can run it even with the stock ECU. You just need the immobilizer key. Um, and the ECU all have to match in order for that to work. Um, other than that, as you can see, this one does have a regulator external because this is a stock tank. The uh, actual single cam had a fuel regulator on the rail itself. So that's how it was regulated as far as fuel wise. Um, as you can see, these are Avid mounts, which I don't even think they make anymore. This was just like a cheaper brand at the time uh, over Hasport. I believe they're like $280 compared to $500 at the time. Uh, this one is pretty much fully modded. So this is all K-Tune headers, K-Tune intake, shifter cables, all this stuff, which you don't really need. Um, you can run stock, same as the 02 to 04. There's not much difference besides the wiring and the, the performance. Um, as far as the blocks, they're pretty much identical. They both come with Type S oil pumps. Uh, the compression ratio is 11.0.0. This one's 11.0 as well. Um, as far as blocks, long blocks, the only thing you're really getting from this to this one is the Type R cam. So the Z1 comes with a stock Type R cam. You can look up the numbers. I've actually read it just to confirm, and it does come with it. Now, some people might say, um, I've seen the K20 Z1 say it only pushes 201 horsepower, which will only be one horsepower more than the A2. But at the same time, that's when standards change 06. Uh, oh, actually, 05 is when they came 210, and then the standards changed, and it changed it, uh, which lowered it the readings to 201 horsepower but if you really compare it that would be the same for this one it would actually drop nine horsepower so this would actually have 
191 horsepower reading in 2006 if it was dynoed on that standard um, other than that guys that's pretty much the differences between uh, the K20 A2 and the K20 Z1 um, if you have any questions go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll probably get to those on the next video uh, the next video I'm gonna be showing you guys um, pretty much if you uh, get caught by state referee and you're already K20 swapped, uh, what to do to basically change it from this, which is fully modified, to pretty much getting it all stock factory and uh, running back stock so you can actually legally drive your car, especially in California since they're kind of cracking down on smog and everything, uh, to get it to that point. And then uh, the third video, we're going to go over on which one can make the most power and the best bolt-ons. Uh, in which, like I said, they're almost the same. The A2 has a little bit more uh, stuff that you can do to it as far as, well, they're pretty much the same, but like I said, the A2, uh, it only has 200 horsepower, so you can drop a better cam, which I recommend, like TSX, and there's a lot of other stuff you can do, but we'll get to that on the next videos and everything. just wanted to tell you, uh, anybody who's actually going to be dropping these swaps the differences that you're going to be getting in between them um, if you haven't like share subscribe comment let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys on the next video